Beneath the Gulf of St. Lawrence water surface, south of Anticosti Island, lies the Eastern Anguero Strait Coral and Sponge Conservation Area. It covers more than 2,300 square kilometers. Here, the channel is nearly 400 meters deep, more than four times the height of Perse Rock. An environment without light, the seabed is surprisingly beautiful. Corals and sponges are fascinating animals. We often think they're not animals, but they are. They have neither eyes nor ears. They're truly incredible structures that provide habitats for other species. We know little about this area because it's hard to reach. But now, for the first time, we've captured images of living animals, sponges and corals, in this natural habitat on the ocean floor. The robotic submersible ROPOS allows us to collect samples. It's really very interesting to be able to collect entire organisms from the seabed, sponges and sea pens, and bring them up to the surface intact. Sea pens feature strongly in the Onguedo Strait. They rise from the seabed, scattered throughout the vast area. Deep in the channel, they find the ideal conditions they need to thrive. Sea pens are soft corals. They're actually a group of small animals that join together to form a colony. All soft corals play a similar role in the environment and in the ecosystem. For instance, sea pens can provide shelter for some species and serve as pantries, since a number of small crustaceans take shelter there. Soft corals also play a role in creating habitats for other species, because sea pens can be from 10 to 50 and even 60 centimeters tall. Life is present everywhere, even beneath the seabed. Some of these animal species have existed since the dawn of time. Of all the creatures inhabiting the bottom of the Laurentian Channel, the Atlantic hagfish is one of the most mysterious. It buries itself in the mud, surging out only to hunt for prey. It's an animal that has changed very little since it first appeared over 320 million years ago. In this deep area of the Laurentian Channel, there are also boulders that are somewhat like oases of life, and they've been colonized by a multitude of species of sponges, anemones, and even other organisms. Many visitors have adapted to life in these deep waters. Amongst them, the poor beagle, Atlantic cod, redfish, and some ray species. All of them find conditions here that meet some of what they need to survive. The Eastern Anguedo Strait Conservation Area is one of 11 areas selected by Fisheries and Oceans Canada to foster the conservation of corals and sponges, fragile and vulnerable organisms. It's really important to preserve sea pens and all corals and sponges because they're part of the marine biodiversity, along with all the species inhabiting the marine environment. These areas serve as habitats and foraging grounds for several species. We truly hope that in 10, 20, 30 years' time, we'll see a marked improvement in this environment. It is crucial to pool our efforts to fully understand the role these unique species play in their interactions with other organisms in their ecosystem and more generally, to improve the health and productivity of deep waters for the benefit of future generations.